But in 83, 1983, I created my Qigong system because people wanted to do something. They wanted something that could fit in their day. They wanted something that wasn't going to be complicated. They wanted a routine. Because at the time when I learned Qigong, it was just a bunch of dumb exercises that were never related to each other. That were just, you know, you do this, then you do this, then you do that. It wasn't yeah. internal. It wasn't cultivating energy. It wasn't storing energy. I mean, all these concepts came out of me from the personal practice. Mm -hmm. So in 83, when I created my Qigong system, I got it right the first time. In 93, 10 years later, I put it on video, and I haven't taught it since. I sell videos, DVDs. I even use my own video in my own workshop. So I haven't taught Qigong since I recorded it perfectly in the studio. Can you talk about having that cultivating your energy and having a vacuum? Absolutely. And I'm the only one in America that talks about your internal vacuum. There are other people that actually go to my website, read it, and then write a magazine article about it. But it came from me. You can't express any projection. You can't really move energy around because you don't have any. It's not like we're all born full of juice. We're born empty and as you get older you get more and more and more and more and more empty. So when you start... Why do you get more and more empty? Because you're expending. You're never collecting. You're just wasting. Whether it's related to sex, whether it's hating your job, whether it's, you know, being in a bad marriage, whether it's hating your body, whether it's not taking care of yourself, whether it's like I said originally, you're a piece of shit, you don't deserve, who do you think you are? I mean, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, mm -hmm. if that's how you were raised, what do you think the natural extension of that kind of belief system is going to end up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where everybody in America is. People get frozen, depressed, whatever. Beat up, beat up, and beat up and never had permission. Mm -hmm. So, back to your question about the internal vacuum. So, the first thing I teach is how to suck it in and store it. Well, nobody else teaches that. They don't even talk about it. They talk about reducing stress and feeling good. Well, you can't reduce stress and feel good. What is it, just by a movement? Who cares? You need to suck in to yourself and become more than you are. And that's where cultivating internal energy starts. And then you move it around. You can't move it. What do you, what are, what's everybody else moving around? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, they're moving their energy around. They don't have any energy. Mm -hmm. So you cultivate the energy. First you cultivate it. Okay. And that's from Qigong. That's from condensing breathing. Condensing breathing. Then you store it. Then you do Qi circulations where you start utilizing what you've stored mm -hmm. and then what I do that nobody else does is I've taught a way of taking your cultivated energy and projecting it outside of yourself to affect your situation your life your relationships your marriage your health blah 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 how that. have you seen that actually happen I've seen it thousands of times on my website I've got hundreds of testimonials hundreds mm -hmm. I mean, everybody that practices has a different story. I got two phone calls today from guys calling me up and thanking me for making my Qigong system. Mm -hmm. I, I get calls like that all day long, every day. Once in a while, there's somebody bitching, but generally, you know, it's one out of a hundred. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. My results are great. I'll put mine up against everybody else. Chiropractors, psychologists, surgeons, whatever. Mm -hmm. 